Si ndio? Ile tu deni bado mimi niko naye na nitauliza agwambo. Unajua mimi nimepigia kura agwambo. Na agwambo hajawahi kunipigia kura. Sasa namngojea na 2027. Kwa sababu sasa kama yeye he is not running. Si mimi nitashindana na Kalonzo. Huyu Kalonzo kweli mkiniona mkiona na If ever there's a habitual trick that the sitting president of Kenya has been deploying ruthlessly against the opposition, it's the art of choosing one's own opponents. If you look at it closely, from 2017 after Uru Kenyatta was re-elected, from that moment moving forward, then DP William Ruto would only address Raila Odinga. Even at some point, the One Kenya Alliance emerged and it was a strong force to reckon with. The Kamba votes and the Luya votes, that was quite something. But what did Ruto do? He continued to ignore them. He never responded to Musele Mudavadi, never responded to Wetangula, never responded to Kalonzo, never responded to Martha Karua or even Cyrus Jirongo. His guns were just going off at Raila Odinga. That was the only person he was targeting. And in so doing, because he had all the clout on him, he boosted the persona of Raila Odinga. So even if there was a narrative to say, Mzee, you have lost three, four, five times, the man to beat is giving credit to Raila. So he had to be the one to run. Personally, I believe Ruto chose his own opponent in 2022. Again, he is back at it with the same, same tricks. Now Ruto has sensed that Raila is not going to vie and he is preferring Kalonzo Musyoka as his challenger in 2027. Just listen into this. Sindio. Ile tu deni bado mimi niko naye na nitauliza agwambo. Unajua mimi nimepigia kura agwambo. Na agwambo hajawahi kunipigia kura. Sasa namngojea 2027. Kwa sababu sasa kama yeye he is not running. Si mimi nitashindana na Kalonzo. Huyu Kalonzo kweli mkiniona mkiona na And I assure you, Kalonzo Musyoka slept very well last night after hearing those nice words from President William Ruto. He doesn't know that Ruto prefers him as his opponent in 2027. And if that's the case, Adria mepangiwa mbaya sana. Now in this video, I want us to look into why President William Ruto prefers Kalonzo Musyoka as his opponent in 2027 and also why Nyanza is ultimately part of William Ruto's playbook in 2027 to vanquish Kalonzo. But before we get into that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube. Search for David Wafula. Hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, the first reason why President William Ruto has ID'd Kalonzo Musyoka as the best loser in 2027 is the obvious fact that he doesn't know how to extend his tentacles. There's a reason why people have been able to hear about Raila Odinga and people like William Ruto for years and years on end. And that is because of their ability to expand their territory. If you own a party that is not heavily sought after beyond the vernacular background of the leader who incorporated the party, then quite frankly, you don't have a party that can challenge for anything. What do I mean? A party like ANC, predominantly in Western Kenya. Ford Kenya, predominantly in Western Kenya. In fact, with their merger with UDA is where now we saw some people who lost the UDA nomination and they ran to ANC to vie in Nairobi and wherever. But prior to that, it was mostly predominantly a regional party. That is the exact same thing with Wiper. Find me an MCA elected on a Wiper ticket in Nairobi today. Or an MP from pretty much anywhere else other than Ukambani. You'll only find perhaps one, perhaps two. Beyond that, nothing. So if you take Azimio and hand it to Kalonzo, it dies. But under Raila, it can survive. Raila is quote-unquote he himself a hustler. Look at Abdul Swamad all the way in Mombasa, installed by Raila Odinga. The one before him, Ali Hassan Joho, installed by Raila Odinga. So ODM has influence reaching the shoreline. Yet it started from Kisumu. That ability Wiper doesn't have and that ability Kalonzo does not have. The second reason why Kalonzo is the best candidate for William Ruto is because Kalonzo has said some derogatory things in the past towards the Kikuyu community. Things such as your name has betrayed you. So he's the only living person in Kenya today who after Raila exits the ballot, he can continue to inherit and own the boogeyman effect from Raila Odinga. Meaning if you take Kalonzo to the mountain today, it'll be hard for him to get elected. Anybody else, pretty much anybody else, and I assure you the opposition will make this mistake. If they failed anybody else, there's a serious chance 
that they can go toe to toe with William Ruto. Better even Simba Arati, I assure you. But if they go for Kalonzo, which they will, because like I told you, the president is very cunning and he is very good at picking his own opponents. He has deferred a lot of legitimacy to Kalonzo Musioka, so the die is cast. So in 2022, he had a candidate who could not be elected in Mlima Kenya. In 2027, he has picked the next best candidate who cannot be elected in Mlima Kenya. You do the math, you tell me. Now, how does Luo Nyanza come into the William Ruto playbook in regards to vanquishing Kalonzo in 2027? President Ruto knows for a fact that Raila Odinga has betrayed Kalonzo Musioka time and time again. He'll be looking to go out with a clean book, so he'll just have to support Kalonzo Musioka. It's high time anyway. And if that is the case, it means this will be the first time that Raila Odinga is not in the ballot. And if Raila Odinga is not in the ballot, it means Luo Nyanza is up for grabs. There's a faction that will rebel. It doesn't have to be too big. Even Mlima Kenya rebelled against William Ruto Kidogo because of Uru Kenyatta. That 13% that was lost to Raila translating to 1.2 million votes, I think we can all agree that was quite something. So Ruto is looking to pull off the exact same thing in Luo Nyanza. To go and cover a chunk of Siaya, a chunk of Migori, a chunk of Kisumu, and before you know it, he's carried some 1.1 million out of Luo Nyanza. That will seriously hurt Kalonzo Musioka while at the same time, he's retaining the entire 100% of Mlima Kenya. So in my opinion, it looks like the die has already been cast. 2027 it is William Ruto versus Kalonzo Musioka and I still maintain that Kalonzo is going to be deputized by a KC. It is either going to be Fred Matiangi or Simba Harati and Simba Harati at this point looks like the better option because he's active in politics and he knows how to campaign. Matiangi turns out he'll perform only as a technocrat, somebody who's brought on board but looking for his own actual vote, he won't last four rounds, he doesn't have the stamina. But as usual guys, that's just my opinion, do drop me on comments in the comment section below, I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. And in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button and if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.